Well, it was a big week for Coppell High School's Solomon Thomas as the former 49er and Raiders defensive tackle found a new NFL home. But as Desmond Purnell reports, last night was a significant night for Solomon as he returned to his hometown. Mm -hmm. That's Collins Okacha. And that's Capel native Solomon Thomas has made his hometown extremely proud. In 2017, Thomas was the number three overall pick in the NFL draft. He recently signed a free agent deal to join the New York Jets. But his most meaningful work is away from the football field. I'm just knowing myself. You know, I've learned in this life, you know, if you're not, not yourself, you know, yes. that weighs on you and that's tough. Solomon is using his popularity from the football field to help save lives. Thomas has partnered with his parents, Martha and Chris, to launch the Defensive Line Foundation. And the reason why we call it the Defensive Line is a line where we want people to understand the stigmas of mental health and suicide and understand that it's a disease. It's not, you know, you know, someone just wanting to do, uh, die by themselves. They, they want to make sure that they are reaching out for, for help. According to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention, suicide is the second leading cause of death for people between the ages of 18 and 34. Unfortunately, this statistic is a reality for the Thomas family. With this immense pain um, and love, we needed something to do with it. In January of 2018, the Thomas family was devastated when Solomon's older sister, Ella, took her own life at the age of 24. There were so many things that we felt like we didn't know. Um, I'm a teacher, I'm trained in suicide prevention, and I couldn't help my own daughter. Following Ella's tragic death, Solomon contemplated suicide. I feel like I couldn't talk to anyone about it. I feel like if I talked to it, it would push people away, it would shame people. But, you know, once I started talking about it, once I started releasing articles, talking to, talking on a national spotlight about Ella and, and, and my feelings and her feelings and what she went through, I realized how many people struggled like Ella. No matter where Solomon's NFL career takes him, there isn't a day that goes by where Solomon and his parents don't think about Ella. Martha and Chris say it's a pain no family member should experience. It's why the Thomas family has taken this personal matter and made it public. Through the Defensive Line Foundation, the Thomases hope to win the fight against youth suicide. You know, we need to be, be in tune with our mental health more than ever. We need to understand that, you know, it's okay not to be okay. We need to understand that it's okay to get help. And we need to understand that vulnerability is, is true strength. In Capel, I'm Desmond Purnell, CBS 11 Sports.